Welcome to Intrusion Analysis and Threat Hunting with Open Source Tools, the 2020 edition. This video is designed to give you some insight into what we'll be covering in this training, as well as some sample content. This course is focused on getting deep into each phase of malware operations. We'll be looking at delivery mechanisms, the payloads that they deliver, check-in and beaconing, lateral movement, and data exfiltration. Our focus here is not only to look at the malicious artifacts, but specifically how we can detect each phase over the network. Our goal is to develop proactive threat hunting methodologies so that we can close the time between when an intrusion occurs and when we're able to detect that, limiting the impact that that malicious actor can have. We're gonna use a variety of tools to help us do this. For visualization and alert management, we'll have Evebox and Kibana. For analyzing network traffic, we'll have Moloch and Wireshark. And of course, we'll be using Suricata to not only generate alerts, but also understand how it can perform full packet capture, how it generates protocol-specific logs, and has more advanced features such as file extraction. We will spend some time performing malware analysis and understand when it's okay to do a little bit of reverse engineering to help pull out additional indicators of compromise. We'll also spend some time looking at rules, understanding rule syntax and ensuring rule comprehension, and then also looking at threat hunting rule sets, when they're appropriate to use and the value that they provide. Now we'll take a look at maldoc traffic as part of our sample content. It is often the case that we need to consider the broader context in which malware is operating. In the case of malicious office documents, it's very common to see them using living off the land techniques. In this example, we'll consider PowerShell. We need to look at how it can be used by the malware authors, as well as establish a baseline for its normal benign use. That allows us then to better detect, to better observe when deviations occur and can help us to discover those previously unknown threats. As we go through the different phases of malware operations, we will spend a little bit of time understanding in more detail how they work. In the case of our PowerShell, we may be able to identify the Base64 encoded payload that is the script itself that the malware authors are executing. If we are able to extract that and decode it, we may be able to discover additional indicators of compromise which can then lead to further discovery while performing network traffic analysis. Extensive examples will be used to not only discuss malicious behavior, but also benign, understanding how the requests are made and also the responses that are then returned. We'll also spend time analyzing the alerts that were generated and dig deeper into each alert to understand the exact syntax that's behind them. That is the rule comprehension. This can also help us better predict when we might have gaps in our coverage and that we have traffic that malware is generating that is not actually covered by any alerts in our rule sets. Our training environment is a virtual machine built off of the Selks distribution, which is open source and provided by the Stamus networks. This is essentially an Elk stack with Suricata and a number of other tools available. There are a number of extensive labs provided for each major learning objective. Here is an example of our Maldoc traffic analysis lab, in which it lays out the key learning objectives, identifies the lab files, and then helps you to get started. Most labs contain a series of questions that allow you to begin exploring and applying the concepts that you've learned at your own pace. But if you find yourself getting stuck and need just a little bit of help, detailed solutions are provided at the bottom of the document. Most of our labs will begin by having you ingest a PCAP. And in order to help facilitate this, we have developed a series of scripts that not only allows you to ingest that specific PCAP through Suricata, but it also clears the environment to ensure that you're only focusing on the traffic that that PCAP contains. Once the script has completed execution, we're able to pull up any of the analysis tools that we need, and we'll explore each of these appropriately throughout the labs. In the case of analyzing malicious office document traffic, we'll spend a considerable amount of time in Moloch and understand how to interact with many of its different interfaces and capabilities, as well as how to filter and effectively hunt, not only for the traffic that we seek, but also how to find interesting patterns that may lead to additional discovery. This will be an intense four days of learning, hands-on labs, and comprehensive exercises. So I hope you consider joining us in our four-day course, Intrusion Analysis and Threat Hunting with Open Source Tools.